Okay, hello guys, my name is MCTAM12, as you all know. Um, today we're going to be doing an abstract image. Nothing compared to this one, but a much more easier one. Um, just to let you know, you can do this in um, GIMP and uh, Adobe Photoshop, any kind of Photoshop or Photoshop elements and everything. Um, so, um, sorry to be rushing it. I've actually done this before, and my cam studio fucked up on me. Uh, technology. Okay, so... This is what we made. This is what I made before. This what well, this is what we're going to be making, okay? Now, this isn't what we're going to be making like like step by step, but this is what we're going to make, something like this. Okay, so uh opening a new one. I'm presuming that you know all the basics of Photoshop or any image editing if you master GIMP or Photoshop elements. I'm exactly the same as this, so follow the mouse and follow what I'm saying and we'll be cool. Okay, so first click the gradient tool. Um, okay, gradient tool is over here. Click this. Make sure you click the rainbow color, okay? Not this one, but this one. Okay, here to here. Pretty normal, pretty easy. You go to here, mode, indifference, and you just go wild. It creates this overlapping. Okay, this is a bit when you just go wild, you know. Do all some crazy stuff with it. I'm trying to do it too small because all of this will start to happen. It gets really yuck. Okay, a little bit over here, some over here. Get some radical ones. Change the options which are over here and just go nuts with it. Here, 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 and here, and here, change it. Okay, this is the bit when it gets a bit more complicated, okay, because you need to be a little bit precise with this. You change the mode to hue once you've finished all of that, and you just easily click it. Just click it. Okay, if you do it too big, this rainbow thing will come up, and you don't want that. So just do a little bit, a little bit like this, and that should come up. Yeah, there we are. Now, once you've done that, go to um, Image, Adjust, Curves, and you want to get all the red, um, all the green and blue out of it. So, you go to Green, put that here, Blue, put that here. Um, this bit, if you're using Photoshop Elements, um, you can't really change the color curves in this, so change the shadows, I think. I think that's in image I think and yeah now that looks pretty cool okay I've done this pretty lots of times it looks pretty simple to me but it looks pretty cool for the beginners okay so now you've done this you're thinking okay what else can I do with it um, you can set it back as your desktop right now um, you know I, I've done that and done that and it does look pretty cool um, you can play some stuff overlap some stuff and that's what I'm going to be doing okay so um, try and find a picture, a textured image, you know, you Google it, textured images, and um, save it and place it, file place, place image over here. I, myself, I'm going to use Riot, one of the Riot gear effects. Um, you have to pay for it. You don't have to pay for it, wink, wink, if you catch my drift back then, but yeah, it's a pay for thing. You get all these images and everything, it's pretty cool. So, if you do have right gear, I'm going to go with Paper 09, Place, stretch it out, and yeah, okay, now go to Mode and go to Overlay, uh, nah, Multiply, yeah, Multiply seems pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Okay, so now, what you want to do is um, try and get the animate image, okay? So you could probably do one, you know, well, since we're doing a, you can change the actual color of this, that's your actual ab abstract background. Um, since it's red, I'm going to go with Alucard. So you go to File, Place, and try and go and look for it. Helsing 8. Now. Um, now the cool thing, if you go in black and white, 
um, it will get rid of all the white and keep all the black and the thing that's really cool about that is this here it is move that down here or up here yeah about there and that's what's cool about it try and get the Change the levels, may try and make the picture a bit more brighter. On I'm, I'm doing this on the beginning one, on the abstract one. You know, you can also try and filter it if you wanted to. I'm not. Uh, that seems pretty cool right there. And you can act um put some text in it, you know, give some blur or anything that kind of suits you. Um, so yeah, that's pretty a basic thing, um, merge, merge visible, merge it all down, and that's pretty an easy, simple and effective way how to do an abstract animated image. Um, you could uh, do this, like I said, in GIMP and in Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, I'm pretty sure you can do it in Paint, I don't know about that, Paint.net, I don't know, but that's a pretty simple way of doing it. Hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully I might do more tutorials. Thanks.